Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Kime, in case any of you guys are new. Thanks for clicking and watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love that. We're gonna do lots of fun things in this video today. I'm so excited. I have been looking forward to this day for quite a while. Actually, not quite a while because we only planned it like several days ago, but my mom is actually babysitting Mateo for the day and I am here in Canton doing some solo shopping for like, I get just a day to myself shopping and I'm so excited. I didn't really want to do the intro in the car because I get kind of tired of doing that, but it's just kind of how it happened because I was busy this morning trying to get things in order at home, trying to get things ready for mom, and so it just didn't work out for me. I didn't, I forgot for one thing, but I also didn't really have time to just film an intro, so. But what the plan is today, I have got so many gift cards, and that's what I'm so excited about. So I have not said this on the vlog yet, but I am doing, in the process of doing, redoing our bedroom, so we repaint, we're repainting and doing stuff like that and getting new bedding. We got a king size bed and stuff like that. And I'm making a video of it for you guys. Don't worry, I won't leave you out of it, but that video will come later once it's all completed. And so what I'm doing right now is shopping for some bedding. I'm gonna be looking for throw pillows, stuff like that. I did have an Amazon gift card, so I got a duvet cover, stuff like that. But that's a little bit of what I'm gonna be looking for today. And just some other random home decor things that I've been, um, wanting to update my house as well. But right now I'm actually at Walmart, ugh, because I have just some random things I wanna do in Walmart that I had to be at Walmart for. So I wanted to get the most boring stop over with first, but after Walmart, I'm gonna go get some coffee because you can't have a day like this without getting coffee. One of my subscribers mentioned that suggested doing it's called a sip and thrift except i'm not thrifting today but where you go to a coffee shop get a new drink rate it on a scale of one to ten and go thrifting it just sounds so fun so i'm probably going to do like a sip and shop type of thing because i'm not thrifting i might go to a thrift store if i have time the people right beside me in the car right beside me are getting into their car what are the odds like why does this car have to be your car <laughs> and then i just feel so awkward videoing when they're like right beside me Okay, we're gonna just call it quits. I'm gonna go into Walmart, get my stuff done, and then at the end of this video, or at the end of my shopping, I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything that I got, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna be fun. thrift or sip and shop thing you're supposed to get a new coffee drink you've never had before but I was really not feeling it I really wanted to just get a solid maple latte it's decaf which is pretty much all I drink anyway not just because of nursing but for some reason at my young age caffeine affects me sometimes but anyway we're gonna try this we're gonna rate it this is called Tremont Coffee Co I've never been to this coffee shop before it's really it's so quaint inside and it's very I love the vibes that it gives it's really cute but we're gonna try this and rate it on a scale of one to 10. Hmm. I think I would probably rate it, it's good, but I think I would maybe rate it like a seven. It's not the best one I've had, but it is, it is good, it's definitely good. I always like to open it up and look and see what it looks like. So I didn't even film anything in Walmart because it was just so such a boring stop and yeah, I was just kind of getting some boring things like laundry detergent and dish soap and stuff like that so the plan is to now I think I'm gonna run over to TJ Maxx I have a gift card for there and we're gonna see what we can find I'm so excited <music>
into Target. I need to go, or I want to go to Target yet, Hobby Lobby, and Once Upon a Child, but it's already one o'clock, and I need to be home. I need to leave Canton for sure by 4.45, which I should be good. You would think I can get all that done in that amount of time, but shopping just takes time. <laughs> I just got out of Target. This is gonna be a good haul. I am so excited. I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see and hear the water run. Rivers got a I stopped taking a break. I went to Panda Express and I have my Chinese for lunch, but I actually am gonna call it a day because it is 10 till three and Chip is actually home or something like that. He, well, he's home from work, but had to go run some errands yet. So my mom is still babysitting Mateo and thinking I actually went everywhere that I needed to go. I really wanted to go to Hobby Lobby yet, but I realized there is not one in Canton, which was very sad, but that's okay. So I'm just sitting here in the parking lot, uh, eating my lunch, watching a YouTube video, and just kind of chilling, living it up. Okay, I am back home now, which I have been home for like a couple days. It's a couple days later since I went on my shopping trip. I just did not have time at all over the weekend to film my haul. And actually, what's fun about this is that I've accumulated a couple other things that I'm going to include in this haul for you guys. So when I went shopping, I went to Walmart, TJ Maxx. Home Goods, I think, Once Upon a Child, Burlington, Target, and I think that's it. I was able to go to so many more stores. Did I say Once Upon a Child? I think so. But I was able to go to so many more places when I'm by myself. I can just kind of go in and out of places. It's easier to concentrate on what you're looking for when I don't have Mateo with me. And I was just able to do things a lot quicker. But I'm gonna jump right into my haul because those are the places that I went to in Canton. But then I also just yesterday, Chip had some guys over and so I was out of the house. Me and Mateo went to Worcester and I went to the Goodwill and TJ Maxx. Yes, I still had my gift card left over from the other day. It was a pretty hefty gift card, I will say that, because this shopping day would not have been near as fun if I didn't have gift cards. I also had gift cards to Target, and that was because of Fetch, and if you're curious what Fetch is, all you do is scan your receipts, and it earns points for you, and once you have enough points, you trade it in for gift cards. It's totally free, and I have gotten so many gift cards. I had an Amazon gift card and a Target gift card, so a lot of this stuff I would not have gotten if I didn't have had... If didn't have had if I wouldn't have had gift cards okay so we're gonna just jump right into it you gotta have coffee in your thrift haul that's just a given so I'm not even really gonna bother to show you what I got at Walmart it was just boring stuff like laundry detergent makeup remover some produce and stuff like that the only thing that I got that is going to matter from Walmart is I got two big king size pillow like inserts for my duvet cover I have two I had two sham covers and I wanted inserts for those and I am so excited, but I'm doing like a bedroom makeover, like I said. So a lot of this stuff was is like bedding for our king size bed. So after Walmart, I went to TJ Maxx. I'm just gonna jump right into what I got at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx slash Home Goods. I can't quite remember what all I got at which one, but they're basically the same. Not quite, but I had to take a quick little break because Mateo was just crying, trying to sleep, and I had to go help him out a little bit. All right, jumping into my haul. The first thing I got is this set of king size sheets. You just need a good classic white set of sheets. Haven't even put them on yet because I, yeah, I just haven't gotten around to it. So I also got a curling iron. So my best friend is getting married in June and I'm doing my own hair and I really was curious and wanting to try a curling iron. So if you guys have tips or whatever for a curling iron, let me know. I didn't get like a super duper expensive one. But I wasn't really looking for an expensive one because I'm just kind of playing around with it and I'm not like a super duper hair person or whatever. But I also got a pair of shoes. These are also for my best friend's wedding. We were supposed to wear like dark brown sandals. And the dress I'm wearing I think will look better with heels. These look very orange on camera. They're not that orange. But I thought these were so pretty. And then at Once Upon a Child, I didn't say, I wouldn't say I just like 
hit the jackpot, which I don't very often at Once Upon a Child, just to be perfectly honest, but I did find this stuff. I found a solid gray zippered sleeper. It has the little hand mittens, and I really love the zippered sleepers so much. So I got that one. I got him a little black long sleeve shirt. This one is gonna be a little bit big for him now, but I just think it's so cute. And I also got him a pair of black sweatpants. These are also a little bit big for him, but he'll grow into them. I'm a sucker for pants and I love sweatpants. They're so cute. And then the cutest thing that I got there was this pair of overalls. He wore these on Sunday because I feel like they're already kind of snug around his thighs. His thighs are getting so chunky. But I got this little kind of denim striped overall set. It's just the cutest thing ever. I loved it. He looks so cute in it. That's all I got at Once Upon a Child. And then at Target, this is where I spent the most money, but I also had a gift card to Target, like I said, from Fetch. And you guys, if you want to sign up for Fetch, you can use my code. I'll put it on the screen here. And I think it gives you 2,000 points when you sign up. I'm pretty sure. So you can use my code if you want to. All right, so at Target, I got this really pretty vase. I just thought it would be so pretty to like sit on the table with some spring flowers in it or something like that or just some greenery coming out like olive branches or something like that. I just think it'd be so pretty for spring. And then I really went to town on the bed pillows because like I said I got new bedding and stuff for our king size bed. So first off I got this thing is ginormous. Like look at my face in relation to the size of this pillow it's huge so i actually got two of these to sit on the bed and then along with that i got two pillows like this this is kind of like a textured it's a little bit more gray i would say and it's a feather pillow and those sit in front of those burnt rust colored pillows and then i also got a little plaid lumbar pillow like this and I'm not going to show you what anything looks like on the bed or anything because I'm going to be doing a bedroom makeover video in the future here. But I'm not quite done with it yet and I'll show you like my Pinterest board inspiration for it and all of that stuff. So that will be a fun video that I can't wait till that one's done. But actually that is all that I got in Canton the other day shopping. I feel like I'm showing this stuff and I was like this is not that much stuff and I feel like I bought so much stuff but it's actually also because I got gifts for some people but I'm obviously not going to show those on the video because I don't want them to see them. Okay next I'm going to be showing you guys what I got last night and I did go to TJ Maxx again because I am doing some redecorating in our sunroom. So first up I have this set of two prints like this. They're in frames and I just think that they're so pretty and fun and they're gonna go up in my open shelving in the sunroom. Then I also have this hexagon, I guess that's what it's called, the shape tray. And I had the sunroom in mind when I bought this because for like my coffee table out there with a plant and maybe a candle or something like that in it. So that's where I'm thinking I'm gonna put it, but I guess we'll see. But I just love the pattern on the inside. I just think it's so pretty and you could always use a good tray, right? Especially wood, ugh, it's so cute. Last thing I got at TJ Maxx, keep in mind I had a gift card for all of this or else I would not have bought all of this, but I got this little basket. This is for the guest room and the end table has like some open space in it and I thought it'd be cute to slide a basket in there. I just loved that this has like the wooden handles on it. I thought it was so pretty and it's just such a cute little size. Mm, can't wait to see what that looks like. I've been waiting to put all this stuff away or try anything on until I do this and so now I'm like excited. Okay, the last place I went to yesterday or last night was Goodwill, but honestly, I hit the jackpot I feel like and it's mostly clothes, but I got a few other pieces as well that I am so excited about. First up, and this is probably the most boring, but I just got this flat sheet pan. I thought it would be nice for baking cookies. I don't have anything like this. Sometimes you just need an extra pan and this one, I really like this kind. I'm gonna show you the clothes right now. So I got this plaid skirt. It's kind of pencil style a little bit and it looks like it's a wrap skirt, but it's it's sewn shut. But I just thought it was so cute. I'm just picturing this with like, I don't know, like a white shirt, a white sweater. I just think it'd be so cute. It's got a little bit of, whoops, purple in there, which I'm not a huge purple gal, but I thought this was just so cute. It's a little bit more maroon now that I look at it in person. And yeah, in person here. Gives me major like school teacher vibes a little bit or like Anne of Green Gables maybe? I'm not sure what I'm thinking. <laughs> and 
Next, I got this shirt. This is from Banana Republic, actually, and I thought it was so pretty. It's just really loose and flowy, and I really liked kind of the collar neckline. I'm kind of into collar stuff right now. I just think it's so cute. And I love the lightness and the airiness of it, and the colors are just so pretty. It's just such a light, pretty gray color, and I just love it. I got some just basic pieces, like I got this gray t-shirt. I have a gray t-shirt, but it shrunk in the wash, and now it just looks horrible on. So I got this one. This is the Faded Glory brand. I believe that's from Walmart, but I've always liked that brand. It's always fit nicely for me, so I'm impressed. Then another basic piece is this white t-shirt with the little buttons down the front. I think this would be cute with that plaid skirt actually. But it just looks so comfy and it's such a soft material. It's the brand Just Be. All right, I have two more pieces of clothing and then one more fun item to show you. So I love, I'm a sucker for some gingham. I just love like a gingham shirt, a gingham dress. I think this would be so cute paired with like maybe that white shirt or the gray underneath with a little black skirt. I just think it'd be really cute. Then the last piece of clothing that I have is this sweater. And I love how it's like two-toned. Can you tell I'm loving the neutral colors here? But it's like cream at the bottom and kind of a light, light beige at the top or some. It's just so pretty and soft. And I know it's not sweater season really anymore, but you know, we're still kind of going through a cold spell here in Ohio. It's the end of April and it's still cold. And then it's got some like nice knitted texture on the sleeve and Oh, I just think it's so pretty. I'm even picturing like this at even a campfire. You've got your little t-shirt and you just bring a cozy sweater for a campfire. I just love, yeah. Okay, then the next thing I got, I need to wash all of this stuff yet, so it's kind of stinks, but I've been looking for like a quilt like this for so long. This is such a pretty color. I love the texture and it's size full queen and so it's gonna be that perfect like oversized throw that i can put over our bed or maybe i'll put it on the guest room bed i'm so excited about it i just think it's so beautiful i mean guys look at this texture just all of that lovely goodness i'm just so excited for this and this was only like 4.99 i'm pretty sure for this giant throw blanket like it's huge I didn't even look at the brand. Now I'm kind of curious what brand it is because I feel like this would be extremely expensive new. It's from the brand Superior. Not sure if anyone's familiar with that brand or not, but 100% cotton. I'm just so excited, guys. I cannot get over this. I debated about buying a quilt from like TJ Maxx or Target, but I was like, uh, I'll just wait because I just didn't know if I wanted a quilt. I did want a quilt because I love the extra layers that it gives but I just wasn't sure if it would be practical in our bed because I feel like it'll get a little warm. So maybe I'll put it in the guest bedroom. But I think that concludes everything. I'm just trying to think, is there anything that I missed? And I don't think that there is. Oh, I do have one other thing to show you. So when I went on my solo shopping trip, one of the main reasons I wanted to go was because I bought a couple other digital prints from Etsy from North Prints again. And I've talked about them on here before. The prettiest Insta or, uh, Etsy shop. So I got to Walmart to print these and all of their kiosks were out of order and it was just a huge mess. And the girls that were working back there didn't know what they were doing because they were just thrown in that department because the other guy was sick and it was just a mess. So I just decided we'll get them printed another time. So I got these printed yesterday and guys, I'm out of breath. I'm not pregnant, I'm just out of breath. But I got this print and I put it in this little fun black frame. This is for the bathroom. I have it sitting on our countertop, but I just love the neutral colors of this one. It's kind of pink and cream colored. It's just really pretty. So this is for the bathroom. This is an eight by 10. And then the last print I got was this one here. This is for, I love this one guys. Like just looking at it in the viewfinder here, it's just, I fall in love with it every time I, I see it. But I just love how it's kind of a little bit cottagey feel. It's gonna go perfect out in the sunroom. This is gonna go on my open shelves. I'm just thinking of it like sitting on a shelf with some black candlesticks beside it or something like that. So that's what this is for. I had the sunroom in mind for it. So I'm really happy to finally have these printed because, oh, they're so pretty. But honestly, it's about the cheapest way to get really good art is find those printable like digital 
downloads on Etsy and then get a thrift store frame. And you look, it looks like I bought this like at Target and I would have spent like close to $30 on something like that. But I think for this, I ended up paying less than $10, I know, but I can't exactly remember what the price was. But anyway, that's my haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I so enjoy these kinds of videos and it's just been a long time since I've done one. So thank you guys so much for clicking and watching today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That really, really boosts my channel. It shows, it shows YouTube that people are engaging and also subscribe. I love to have you stick around and I'm very thankful for all of you guys and I hope to see you again next week very soon in my video on Wednesday. Bye!